Uh, my name is Chase Lockmiller. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Crusoe. Uh, Crusoe is a vertically integrated AI infrastructure business that uh, takes an energy first approach to power compute infrastructure with clean energy. Uh, the topic of our session today is uh, scaling compute to power AI. Um, I think uh, what, what a lot of people don't recognize is that uh, scaling compute is a very, very complex industrial task. Uh, and it ranges from uh, scaling up the chip productions and scaling up the foundries that are actually producing the silicon, and all the way down to um, the, the power generation, the infrastructure, the high voltage substations, the uh, data centers, the electrical gear, the chillers. It's a very, very complex and uh, diverse supply chain um, that requires uh, a lot of development and growth from a lot of different industries and a lot of different sectors. Um, the reality of scaling compute and AI infrastructure is that it's going to be a very expensive enterprise. And so there's like a lot of questions about where capital comes from, how it's financed, how that happens, and what the implications downstream of that are going to be. Probably the most interesting conversation that we had was about the benefits of scale and then the drawbacks of scale and how to mitigate some of those drawbacks. There's a bunch of like weird drawbacks that some of which we know, some of which we don't know. There are like environmental considerations around building massive, massive data centers regulatory sort of like considerations around building massive, massive data centers. And we talked about a few of those things too. I, I mean, what's concerning about uh, the world and the industry right now is that uh, data center capacity is that uh, the vacancy rates are at an all time low. Um, you know, uh, we ended the year below 2% um, of, of uh, vacancy rates in, in data centers. And, and what this means is that all of this boom in AI infrastructure is really going to require a lot of net new capacity and a lot of net new power generation to make that possible. Maybe scale is not just the only thing that matters, and maybe there's like more middleware stuff or more enablement stuff around helping people actually use these models that's going to drive more ROI. So where is that power going to come from? Uh, I think that's the question on the minds of many people focused on sustainability, is that we just need a lot of power um, to fuel AI and really deliver uh, uh, innovation at scale. And uh, you know, I think it's concerning, but I think as an industry, it's, a, it's an incredible opportunity to be thoughtful about designing the future energy ecosystem and the energy infrastructure uh, to fuel all of this innovative potential and, and drive forward human progress.